Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Blancpain Villeray Complete Calendar. The Contium Complet can be seen and purchased on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this complete calendar moon face with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this automatic winding 72-hour power reserve quick adjuster system with complete calendar and moon phase. Now I call it a quick adjuster system because rather than the calendar, this watch is defined by the mechanism beneath the case that allows you to adjust the calendar, but more on that in a moment. The watch is 40 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown. It's reasonably slim, though not ultra slim, at 11 millimeters thick with a nicely sloped double gaudron bezel, and you can see from lug to lug, fairly compact at 44.6 millimeters. In my estimation, you could wear this watch easily on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters in circumference. Now I'm gonna back up a little bit and show you the strap, which is alligator, upscale, hands it's a matte finish, no gloss, nothing garish, nice folded edges with a monotone stitch, natural calf skin on the underside, very supple against the skin. One of the most interesting deployant clasps and a design shared with Richard Meal, there is actually a leaf spring within the double deployant that holds it shut forcefully when closed. Now this is a nice feature because you don't have the occasionally cumbersome restrictions of a trigger system which though very secure can also be difficult to manipulate from the underside of your wrist. Here it is spring loaded with sufficient force that it will remain nicely bound until you desire to pull it open. Also nicely finished, you can see there's a handsome combination of the satin finish of the spring, media blasted interior of the chassis, and high polished swing arms and buckle. Now moving back to the case, what really sets this watch apart, and I mentioned it earlier, is the system of under lug adjusters. Note how there's no marring of the case flank. There's no dimple, there's no adjuster, there's nothing to break up the lines of this handsome, but relatively simple case style. Now, here's where the magic starts. First, those adjusters, and you can see one underneath each lug for all four components of the calendar, they will not allow you to actuate the calendar during the danger zone. As you may know from previous videos or perhaps personal experience with calendar watches, even those as simple as a jump date, there are hours when you cannot adjust them because the mechanism is engaged and attempting to choose a quick set during that period will crash the movement. Well, you can't accidentally use these during the danger zone. Even better, you don't need a tool of any kind to set the calendar and because they're nicely hidden, they don't break up the handsome style of the case. Now, watch the serpentine style radial date indicator. I can move it right along using nothing but my thumbnail. No accessories needed. Now you can see the same system is in place for the moon face, which is activated by the opposing lug. It's really that simple. And then you have your day and you have your month. A handsome dial, you can also see it features stylized, diamond polished, and hand applied white gold Roman numerals. It's a relatively spare black on whitish silver. It's not quite white, it's not quite silver. It's a matte metallic. And you can see there's a slight countersink for the radial date. It's on a slightly lower plane than the center dial or the hour track. Now turn the watch over and it does feature a handsome, nicely contoured case. And you see the Blancpain caliber 6654 28 joules automatic winding with a three day power reserve, courtesy of dual mainspring barrels for a more even torque release throughout that power reserve. It also features a free sprung balance for durability and a free sprung aerodynamically styled balance. I believe this is a non-hacking caliber, but we can check. Yep, non-hacking. Nevertheless, take my word for it. Variable inertia balance blocks inset. This is a handsome movement, nicely finished. There's a gorgeous pattern upon gold rotor, and then the bridges are beautifully textured with Cote de Genève. All of the screw heads are polished to a mirror's shine with chamfered slots. And along the edge of the balance cock as well as the bridges, you'll see a fine hand laid rounded and mirror polished anglage with a tight and even perlage pattern across the base plate. It is a handsome movement. And you could see the twin mainspring barrels P 
peeking out from underneath their bridge. Handsome to look at, even more satisfying from an intellectual standpoint. This watch represents an enduring style, a very practical complication, plus the romance of a moon face, and genuine blue sky thinking in terms of how you interact with the watch and actuate its functions. You can see this versatile and handsome Blancpain Villeray Cantium Complet and purchase it on our website.